We are here for some water damage. And notice that now I've got a five gallon pail of water coming out of this thing. Kind of see why we're having to do that because this is supposed to be flat up against the bottom. And oh my God, that's what oh happened. damn. So she was coming down. <laughs> I'm laughing instead of crying. We have been here at Penpack for almost four weeks now. Looking forward to getting into BLM land where it's quieter. Well, this is a video that's been a long time in coming. And honestly, we were kind of dreading to do this, but, yep. but we're taking you along with. We are here for some water damage. And honestly, we could use a little bit of emotional support for this one, because this is a little rough but we're gonna give you a little history of what happened. Back in 2018, we purchased our host truck camper. I've been absolutely loving it. We uh, went on multiple trips during that time, saw how much value one of these truck campers can have from just flexibility in traveling. Gary was doing some maintenance uh, back in the fall of 2019, and I will let him explain what he saw. When we got back, we were, I was sitting in the driveway doing some, just checking caulking and just doing the average stuff you do for a truck camper. And noticed there was water dripping out of the seam. The screws where the seam are. And I was like, well, that's kind of strange. I took the little caulk tab that they had stuck in there and took that out and noticed that now I've got a five gallon pail of water coming out of this thing. See coming out. And we were about four or five hours away from the nearest dealer. And honestly, that dealer didn't have a lot of host campers. So we were a little hesitant on taking it back. I was like, okay, how do I fix this? So we contacted host through email mm -hmm. and then via a telephone conference with them, um, kind of walked me through what they recommend to do. They actually wanted us to come back here to Oregon um, to get it fixed, but where our work schedules were and yeah. everything else, there was no possibility of that. Here we are, three years later. Three years later, um, finally making it. We're gonna take you along to show you what we find while we're here. All right, let's All right. do it. Yep, let's do it. So this is why we're um, working on our camper here at Pen Pack. We just took this strip down that's on the bottom side here and you can kind of see why we're having to do that because this is supposed to be flat up against the bottom and the underside is getting wet and moldy so we're going to have to fix that. First we're going to take this front cap off right here, see if there's any moisture up there and let it dry out. As you can see, we got a lot of issues here. Oh wow. We haven't got the nose piece off yet, we're working that, but if you... Oh my god. That's what oh. happened. Damn. So she was coming down. Oh, and the mold. Yep. Holy sh So and then this side here is doing the exact same side as the other side, but it's oh. all still damp here yet. Holy cow. So it's just never dried out. So once it gets this nose cap off, we'll be able to tell more. But it's all delineated. And this one been off. Which one, the only thing holding it up there was the sides of the geoflex. Geoflex is the there holding it up there. <laughs> Flex is the bomb. <laughs> I wonder how bad that is. I mean, just leave it. not like it's going to make a difference. I know. Just leave it for me. Oh, and look at that. That is some serious mold there. I wonder how far inside that goes. I mean, I know there's a there's a, like an insulation barrier, so hopefully that will be good enough. This is worse than I thought. This is a lot worse than I thought. Yeah, actually, I think it's no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I didn't think it was going to be wet. No. <laughs> the whole thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm laughing instead of crying. Just, uh, you're allergic to mold. Don't play with it. Yeah. Everybody's allergic to mold. Um, it's going to it. Oh, jeez. piece of trim came from here. So this this trim right here is what you see on the inside. Yeah. And so we had a lot of water damage here. But now 
We're not sure, but we're seeing a bit of a of a bow in this area. Uh, we're gonna wait and chat with Dan. But on the plus side, we have fantastic airflow. We got this deck panel off. This is the spots where the water was, and we had a lot of water down here, so we're gonna cut out. The, the star foam didn't get moldy, so we should be good there. This is uh, still laminated to the wall and it's very, very difficult to get off. So we pulled the first couple laminate layers and that's what you're seeing here. When we did have to pull the door, and that got a little mangled so we'll have to replace the door because that's no fun to get off. So anyway. So yeah, this is what it looks like without the back panel on the bed. So this is that shelf that's in the cabin. This is our uh, closet on the driver's side and then we have it sealed up oh we're going to put another piece on the driver's side but this would be your armoire 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 so originally this piece of wood being screwed into your armoire and your closets and everything and then the shelf that's what they were using for rigidity was just this wood um, to keep the bed from um, sagging so in order to offset that, we put some strapping between there to help that so that it's not putting the strain on the wood, it's actually putting it into the structure. We put four of those in, kind of help augment that. We were getting a lot of movement, so we're narrowing up how much movement we're actually getting now. So when we're inside, our bed isn't actually squeaking on the floor, so. So we can jump out our bed again. That's it. <laughs> While staying here at Chateau de Penpac, uh, we had been staying here with some additional host camper guests. You know who you are. And one of them turned us on uh, to this Zoe Greek yogurt. Wow, this stuff is so good. It This was the lemon cream version. This was so good. I didn't even tell Gary about it. It's all mine. I'm just saying. So they were take making strips out of this is what's happening is there's a bunch of water that's been going down here and chewing on the aluminum. So all of the aluminum's getting heat up. So we're checking some of the welds and then we're going back over and just, we're gonna clean all this up as best we can on one side. What we're gonna do is sister in another piece all the way up and down here so that we can strengthen that up because there's spots where it's pitted um, and the holes are holes. So we're gonna sister this up to help strengthen it. But yeah, we're cutting like inch and a quarter, inch and a half holes. All your closets and stuff are held in with a piece of aluminum stripping and backing here. So we're just gonna end up leaving this here. We're gonna sand it so it'll help hold the glue a little better. So kind of see where it gets really bad, where the water gotten in here and just eating it up. We also thought we had a bent frame. So, but it seems to be pretty good. And one of the things hosts didn't do in talking to Dan, they didn't put another piece of metal in here to reinforce those carriage bolts. There's a metal plate over here, but there's none over here. So we're gonna put in another piece to sandwich this portion in. So we got stringers all beefed up here. We got them sistered here. So we got these, these smaller three quarter inch ones sistered up at a one, one and a half inch. We didn't do this one because we didn't see any white dust coming out of it, but we did for all of these. And then uh, we did have a little bit of mold on the star foam here, so we dug that out. We're gonna cut this side all the way up to the top. So the yellow tape is, and we'll be replacing this whole thing. Because as you can see, this is not held together anymore. Just get the rain rail off there. So they got metal on this side here, metal here, but they got a strip here. Now granted that bracket's gonna fit on there and we probably have enough clamping force. Penpack has said that this is typically where they've cracked in the past. When you see the fiberglass cracking in here is typically this piece. So we're gonna sister in another piece just like we did on this side. We're gonna do the same thing here. Oh, they had some sheet metal, but that's all it was, just some sheet aluminum. So this corner, it's on the passenger side sistered in that 
So we're gonna take this and push that down, glue that in again. So we've got it screwed in, keep it tight to that glue, uh, fusion glue. So we're using that glue there. And then to adhere to the wood parts, we're using just regular heavy duty liquid nails. Yeah. 9.30 at night and we're in this building and we were hearing something rustling around. So Gary is over there trying to figure out if there is an animal here or is it just our imagination. It's a creepy building in the middle of the night. He just seemed to hear everything. There's banging, loud, loud banging. Well, we think it's from one of the other companies across the road that might be just dropping pallets or something like that. But we hear it a couple times at night, but only at night. It's only like twice every night. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Hopefully we'll get more sleep than we did last night. We were woken from our sleep at 3 o'clock with something rustling around. Looking forward to getting into BLM land where it's quieter. <laughs> the whole side's coming off. It sounds like there's something still up there. Force it too much. Yeah. Yeah, woohoo! Nice. There's your pattern. Don't lose that. We're gonna go over here to pattern the room. The side is off. Holy cow, look at all this. That looks friggin' nasty. Look at this. It's still wet. It's still wet? Yeah. So the next step we're doing is we're taking the sides off. They were all peeling away as well. We had a lot of water damage. You can see the water coming down to different areas here and collecting. So we had water coming down there. We also had water coming down the nose cap and running down this way. Um, so you can kind of see what we're doing here. We're going to peel off a lot of this extra wood. When we put the uh, fiberglass back up here, it won't match. But what we'll do is keep a thin layer of wood here so that the glue sticks to it well. But you can see the structure on this other side. One of the things that I'm really grateful of is Host uses aluminum. If this would have been wood over the two years that we've been waiting to get here, we would have had a serious problem. Um, wood would have deteriorated. As you can see, we've got a bunch of black mold here. We're going to be cutting all of this black mold out. This side delaminated really badly. You can see where we had some issues here. We'll be able to fix that with some fiberglass repair, but if this structure was wood instead of aluminum, we would not have a front camper anymore. We would have been on the floor. We would have been, this whole thing would have fell apart already. Um, you can kind of see how Host does a really good job of ink, you know, of doing angles. Um, they have angles here. They got a double runner here, and it's like this on both sides, where you can kind of see where we benefit from the structure that Host has made here. We, Originally didn't see a big issue or a need to take this side off, but as soon as we released this edging here, this side went sprung out and we saw a lot of moisture. In fact, this was still wet yet, even when we took the side off. And this is a side I sleep on with all the mold, so yes, we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> hey, what about my side? Your side is much better. Oh, okay. In typical fashion, while we're staying here at Pentac, I am late to the dinner plan, um, trying to make a very quick dinner, which I'm going to share with you. First part is saute a whole bunch of onions and peppers, and I'm probably going to have the alarm go off because I had it too high. Oh, I'm doing this up a little bit. At the same time, I've got some diced potatoes boiling just to kind of uh, get them somewhat cooked. and a half of a kibasa that's kind of cut up in small pieces here. Probably for a minute, not much not much longer, just to kind of char the outsides a little bit. And I just threw these potatoes in here. I'm gonna add again a little bit of a little bit of oil just to kind of crisp them up a little bit. Then we throw everything together. A 
appetizers, main meal. Yum. We have been here at Pen Pack for um, almost four weeks now. I am very grateful that PenPack allows us to actually stay on site while this work is being done. Otherwise, we would be looking at multiple thousands of dollars to get an Airbnb or a hotel in the area. Unfortunately, uh, these kind of things take lo uh, a good while, even if it was a simple fix. Getting into the queue with all of these campers is a little bit challenging. With our project, obviously, it's a lot more involved. So we basically are kind of figuring things out as we go. We have not been doing a lot of traveling in the area, mainly because we want to be around when the camper is being worked on. Gary can also help when possible. And what are you doing now? Just, just walking? Yep. Just walking. This situation has been a bit stressful with seeing our camper torn apart, but in reality, I am really glad that we have a host camper uh, that has a very good bone structure in order for us to make these changes. I think that is our saving grace here. So we will talk to you next week, give you an update of what's been going on, Hopefully you'll see a bit more progress. Uh, we'll see you next week when things are hopefully looking more like a camper.